Uh, I feel Emmanuel is one of the great trainers because of the work he's done uh, with fighters. You can look at the numbers and, and see um, over 40 world champions. I don't, I don't think anybody has over 40 world champions in the history of boxing. Um, he made a lot of people world champions. He made a lot of people regain their world championships. At, toward the end of his career, he was more, they called him a higher gun. If you want to win, put Emmanuel in, you know, something like that. And earlier in his career, he built a legacy, the Kronk Gym. That stable of uh, boxers, that team uh, was churning out champions like the automotive industry was turning out cars. And, uh, you know, he was invited. People, he was in the Wall Street Journal for that. Uh, they did an article on him in the, in the Wall Street Journal for his ability to turn out champions from that little small gym in the basement in Detroit. And that's one of the reasons why, a, a few reasons why I feel Emmanuel is uh, the greatest trainer in history. Years ago, like more than a decade ago, he predicted this fight, didn't he? He predicted that these two guys, Wilder and Fury, would be at the top of the tree. Yes, Emmanuel did predict a lot of things that have come to fruition. And he predicted a, a great fight with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that because I'm sure everyone's seen the interview or if they haven't seen it, they're looking it up now, so. So how does February the 22nd unfold in the ring in the MGM? February 22nd unfolds as Tyson Fury, sensational victory.